coming in with hot tea. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. There's an ad. That's weird. All right, guys. Welcome. We made it. I got Hi. a good coffee refill. We just hello, did, hello, everybody. We just did a, a quick hour with our Bo official community. Yes, and so we got a little replenish here at this beautiful little cafe that we're in Plantisa. And uh, I wanted to start this out by saying, <laughs> we talked about how we wanted to start. Mm -hmm. And um, we wanted to say that you all, each and every single one of you, deserve nothing but the happiest and lightest and heartfelt day-to-day -day experience in your life that we all deserve equally as humans on this planet. Because there's so much going on in this world that is dividing us up. Mm -hmm. And there's so much in this world that is pinning us against each other. And there's so much of the, on this world that is causing more pain and more suffering and more needless negativity on a place that is already heaven. We already have heaven, it's right here on earth. And if we simplify things and just come back to gratitude once in a while, come back to the idea of gratitude and fill ourselves up with it, because when you are grateful in your heart, there's no room for any other emotion when you truly embody gratitude. Mm -hmm. And through that practice of gratitude, you can come back to the idea that we all, every single one of us that is sitting on a computer with the internet, and has the things in life we need to exist and to be happy and healthy, we have more than we could ever ask for. Yes. Um, so let's take this opportunity right now before we all move on with our days and do everything we do on this Sunday to just connect to that feeling of gratitude. And that's, you know, something Mark and I have to remind ourselves of from time to time because it's so easy for life to move so quickly mm -hmm. and, and constantly our days are filled with problem solving and this and that I mean and I'm not even talking about like the the collective energy of what's going on in the world itself I'm talking about more just like on our personal levels in all of our lives we have children we have responsibilities and careers and jobs and, and all of these things and that it's so easy for the mind to focus on all of that and to forget to actually like take a moment and, and look around and be grateful for what we have, right? And it can be in the simplest things of just being grateful for having a beautiful cup of tea to enjoy, you know, or for your health or for your loved ones or for your beautiful animal or dog that loves you unconditionally. You know, there's all of these little things that we, we just seem to forget sometimes unconsciously because it's just, it's just there and we just live and what we react. You, what are you grateful for? What I'm grateful go. for. Do, go. Okay. One thing, go. My health. That I'm, I'm feeling healthy today. I'm grateful for you. Well, I'm go again. I'm grateful for Xavier and for a little boy. I'm grateful that we're here in Mexico. Yes. Go. I'm grateful for a wonderful team that makes all of this happen for us. I'm grateful that I can walk and dance and, yeah. s and listen and see and just be a human. Yeah. That's beautiful. Go. Are we going to continue? Yeah, we're going to continue. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm grateful for the ability to be able to eat whatever I want at any point. I'm, you know? I'm grateful for kindness mm. in the world. Yes. I'm grateful for our families. And I am grateful for the sun and the stars at night and the simple things that I always forget are there to fill me up and I always forget. Mm. And I'm grateful for you guys here watching this and this beautiful community that we have of Boho Beautiful, Boho Beautiful Official, our exclusive community, but also the YouTube community here with all of you guys just checking in and, and commenting on, on this live stream right now saying where you're from, like where all of us are gathering from all over the world in one place right now. Yeah. yeah it's really cool. Tell us where you're from in the comments. Because we're grateful that we're all here, connected mm -hmm. somehow through time and space on an internet channel from all over the planet, yeah. right now, right here, like just sharing this moment of consciousness together mm -hmm. with so much distance between us all. I think that's so crazy. It's so crazy, right? And mm -hmm. so I think the reason we wanted to start this way is to, sit, to, to, to 
practice a little for ourselves, mm -hmm. how easy it is to come back to fill yourself up when you get so drained through day-to-day -day existence yeah. and constantly feeling the resistance of the world and the resistance of the things you want to accomplish every day in and out and all of the signals that come at you that say there's nothing to be grateful about mm -hmm. when actually the truth is that's just the monkey mind and the ego trying to take us to directions that don't serve us and at the end of the day we have all so much to be grateful for yeah and i think for us it also comes from the idea that you know this is what the end of november and usually mark and i feel like this at the end of january like mid-january that kind of burnout feeling but you know, we've been on the road since September, shooting a podcast, and then we came to Mexico. Now we're here in, in Mexico, uh, in kind of outside Playa del Carmen. Um, actually, Beautiful, guys. Puerto Vallarta, Germany, Amsterdam, mm -hmm. Utah, Cyprus, oh Lancaster, Hungary, England, Paris, uh, Armenia, South Africa, Germany, Florida, Albank, Poland, New Hampshire, Italy, New Orleans, India, Albania, Israel, okay. Belgium, oh my gosh, my. London, New York, California, <laughs> Hungary, Virginia, Texas, Coast, South Africa, Ireland, California, Banksley, Memphis, Tampa. Oh, I'm going to stop now, yeah. but that's <laughs> that's what we're talking about right yeah. there. That's yeah. how cool is that? I, we take it for granted. It's like oh, we have the Internet. It's like, no, no, no. That's like 20 years ago, this was unheard of. <laughs> it was impossible. Yeah. It's so cool. We yeah. live in a magical time. We really do. So back to you saying we're in Mexico. Well, where we are, actually that's fair because they're telling us where they yeah, are. Yeah, and so we we're are right Mexico. now, we are here in Mexico and we're actually in this really beautiful, um, I don't know what the right way to say it. This is like a really incredible, conscious wellness resort that we are in called Palmaya, the house of Aya which is in Mexico, just outside of Playa del Carmen. And we've actually been here since beginning of November. Well, we've been working here yeah. um, on many, many, different many things. things. Um, we actually came here for the first time in March um, this year. And we were looking for a beautiful place to potentially host a retreat for our all of you guys, for a community. And then one thing led to another, and we met the owner of this place, and he is the sweetest human being um, with such a conscious uh, mind of, and of creating something for people to experience from a different perspective. Like, this is what we're in. is actually an all-inclusive resort, right? A resort, you would say. And I think a lot of times when you say that people have this connotation of all-inclusive resorts where it's, you know, a lot of buffets and... and a lot of people overindulging and just you know having a, a great fun time but sometimes it can be a little bit intense whereas this is like a different kind of vibe it's here. a retreat i it's mean this retreat. is more of a retreat center than anything and alex yeah. our friend who owns it um and who we've decided to work together with on a whole bunch of new content yeah. here, which, which is why we're here now. which is why we're here mm -hmm. Um, he has a really beautiful mission where, he, where, as it was built, you know, they reduced the amount of buildings and preserved a whole portion of all of the jungle around it. And mm -hmm. he built all these different yoga shalas and there's a spa with a tamaskal and all of the restaurants are vegan or 90% vegan 90 and plant-based. And yeah. it, it's one of the most eco And there's no like things like buffets. So there's not really like that whole idea of wasting food. Everything is, is more conscious in the terms of like what, how we're consuming and how we're giving back to the earth and it's really beautiful. It's just a different mm -hmm. way of looking at taking a vacation where you're taking a vacation to come to a place like this to give back to yourself rather than to indulge yourself. Yeah. And I think that's really special. And, I and it's been really cool to just to see the people that are here enjoying themselves in this place because there's a lot of families that come here, but also because of the programming that they have. And we haven't really experienced it this time around. We did last time because uh, we've just been working and creating a lot of videos. But it's really beautiful because it gives people the opportunity to, you know, not just do yoga every day but there's you know different like cleansing rituals and shamanic soul reading and so much unique opportunities to dive deep into yourself take us really really take take, take a second guys in the the comments are on fire with everybody talking about where they're from especially ray ray shout outs from fargo north dakota home of the big blue ox um, but take a second and tell us what you're grateful for in the mm -hmm. comments as we continue because i think that's really important when you put what you're grateful for in yeah, words in physical mm -hmm. in physical form now even though it's pixels on a screen and they're not writing in a book it is one of the most powerful things you mm -hmm. can do in the world so i invite you guys while we continue talking about this um 
I guess this state of being we're in, mm -hmm. which is right now coming back to gratitude, yeah. to tell us what you're grateful for and, and read other comments of what other people are grateful for because then that will, that will reinforce the aura of gratitude that we're creating here today yeah. to allow it to be easier for us all to access that state because it's a yeah. beautiful em empowering state. Mm -hmm. So anyways, <laughs> to go back to what I was saying, this is where we are right now and we're actually um, leaving tomorrow. We're going back to Costa Rica tomorrow, but uh, we've been here creating a lot of beautiful content for, for you guys, for our Boho Beautiful official community as well. Um, actually, um, our January offering, as you guys know, every year we have some kind of premium program that we offer. And this year's January offering was created here at Palmaya. But because mm -hmm. of the state that we're in and we're constantly reminding ourselves to come back to gratitude, um, and it's been a long run. I think like we can't really talk about the offering because it's not the same as any other room. No, it's this year. year. I th a lot of people are asking, oh, what is going to be your premium program? As you guys remember, like last year we had Ascension. Like before that, there was a retreat and transform. And, and those creations are incredible, but they they really take like months of our complete energy. And because we were doing a podcast for the last three months, like we were just not capable of, of putting any more well, energy into creating something that large we're of burnt that out sense. babe you can say it yeah and like, we're, we're tired mm -hmm. we're tired mm -hmm. and it's okay to be tired yeah. Yeah. and we don't have to pretend that we had so much other stuff that we couldn't do like we could have but we recognize and it's important that everyone recognizes mm -hmm. when you're tired that sometimes like you have to ask that question when is enough enough mm -hmm. and I think that's sort of we made a you know, personal update and shifting times and on the thumbnail of this, it was, I think, what do we put rethinking, rethinking things or something? Mm -hmm. And I think that's really where this comes from. Like, it's okay. Like, let's like sink into it for a second and say like, yeah, I think we spent two months in America shooting podcasts for stars and destruct. And it was not fucking easy. Mm -hmm. And it was like constantly like with our team and they're amazing. Like everyone that works with us with stars and destruct is so great because we're like being on tour and having to set up and then have these really intense conversations and all the logistics and everything that you put your heart on the table and you're just so invested in this thing. And then like as each of the waves, like the, our Austin chapter closed and then we went to Sedona and that went through, like and as we climbed through it, like the consciousness kept pinging in both of our minds. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my God, how much can we put in? Because mm -hmm. not just doing that, there was everything else with Boa Beautiful at the same time. And it's like, we have to remember to come back to practice what we teach, mm -hmm. which is self-love yeah. and self-care. And so that was, you know, kind of what pushed us into where we are now. And the offering that we were inspired to create this year, we can't say it still like wasn't a big thing because it was quite an undertaking as well, being here in Palmaya and creating it. Um, and there's a lot of classes and a lot of beautiful ways for people to dive into their themselves. Starting in January, it's just slightly different than you know, a premium program like the offering this year is going to be offered exclusively through Boho Beautiful Official. So it's not any like program that you have to purchase. It's just, you know, become part of our community and experience this um, for free. Yeah, know? because when we're mm -hmm. pushing so much out into the world, sometimes sometimes it's really important to come back to what matters inside. Mm -hmm. And so to us, like inside Boho Beautiful is the community. Yeah. And those of you that are here know that because we do our check-ins, we send our emails and everything inside the community. It's like, it's such a close to heart thing for the mm -hmm. two of us that that's to us, not just that none, nothing else matters, but that's what matters most. Yeah. Because it's like, we come into ourselves to take care of ourselves and we realize, well, why don't we come into our community and instead of put all this energy out into the world, let's put the energy into the community itself where it matters most to us because that's like, that's the true core and essence of Boa yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's gonna be our beautiful offering. But speaking of premium programs, because I know a lot of people here that join our, our community even on YouTube and just us, wherever we are in the ethers of the internet, um, a lot of you guys are new and some of you guys may not even know that, you know, what Boho Beautiful has outside of, you know, all the free content on YouTube is these beautiful premium programs that we create year after year. Last year was Ascension, um, which was a really in-depth dive into yourself, into the chakra system, into your energetic 
um, ascension of, of your own frequency. And then it was like your Boho Beautiful Retreat, which is pretty much a yoga retreat in the comfort of your own home and then transform was like an intense fitness program. So all of these things come with all of these incredible different intentions depending on what you need in this time in your life. And right now um, we actually have, for those of you that maybe haven't seen on our Instagram, but we're doing what everyone's doing right now, the Black Friday sale and that ends tomorrow, but it's 40% off all our programs. So if you haven't had a chance to check them out or mm -hmm. you're interested in checking out any of our premium programs, just go to our store, bohobeautiful.life, and you will see all the offerings that we have for premium programs. And right now, you can experience them at 40% off. So it's a pretty good deal to yeah. try if you want, if you are being called to dive a little bit deeper into any kind of yoga experience. Yeah, it's the, it's the biggest sale we do of the year. And I think it, I mm. really, I love the, I don't love Black Friday at all, <laughs> but I like the idea that on Black Friday, we give these digital products at such a reduced yeah. cost because it gives access to people that might not be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. um, because we had got asked the question in our live stream just before this with the community on the Bo Beautiful official app. We were asked like, well, what's the difference between what's here on the app and the premium programs? And just like you could ask the same, like what's the difference between what you get here on, on, on YouTube? YouTube yeah. um, and really like sort of what Juliana was getting to is when we make these premium programs, they're courses, mm -hmm. like they're courses with an intention um, where we t basically take like the last three to five months of the year and we put everything mm -hmm. creatively, intellectually, spiritually, everything from our journey together into like we throw it all on the table and we figure out how do we create the most valuable thing possible. And then we don't do anything but that for the last four to five mm -hmm. months of the year. Um, and then what comes out of that is these like Ascension last year was honestly like oh, it was one of the best experiences of my life. But it also much like we're talking about now, normally in January, I feel this way yeah, cause it's because after that comes out, you're just like, yeah, your oh. energy level is like, <laughs> but now it's like it's literally the end of November and I'm just like, we're like, we're, we're going home to Costa Rica tomorrow mm -hmm. after two and a half months of like Traveling. nonstop. Go, yeah. go, 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 go. And I'm just like. I'm supposed to feel like this in January. What the hell are we doing? <laughs> Hence the rethinking everything. Mm -hmm. Hence the not doing a premium program this year. But as Juliana so eloquently pushed into the conversation, there's this sale. So if any of you are interested at 40% off all our programs there, and all the new t-shirts also are like mm -hmm. at 25% off percent too. Off, yeah. But anyways, the, it, again, it's just, it's a wonderful opportunity if it's calling to you to, to give out. you an opportunity to have mm. less of a barrier of entry of cost to mm -hmm. be in the way because, you know, you can read the reviews and see what people have to say or maybe people are talking about in the comments right now, but the programs themselves, um, we're very proud of the impact they've had on so many people. Yes. And that's why every year when it comes time, we're like, are we going to go all in again? And then we're like, yeah, we're going to. Like, yeah. Like I think what you say, when you see the, the feedback that comes from so many people in regards to the, their experience and their journeys through that and what they take from these programs or all of our offerings, or even like our app that has, you know, many different types of ex like long format classes, it, it gives the fire that we need, even in times when we feel very low on energy. It's like, that's the inspiration is to know that, you know, the time and the, the, the energy, the time, the mental health, the financial component of everything that we do, it's put into these creations, but then it gives so much to the world. It's like, it's worth everything. So thank you. Thank you guys. For those of you that have left reviews and have experienced it and, and gave us your feedback, it does mean so much to us to know that, yay, we're doing it. <laughs> you know, we're, we're helping some of you. <laughs> you yeah. Know, it's great. So It's more mm -hmm. than we could have ever hoped for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really With this rewarding. entire thing. Yeah. It's with very, this very entire rewarding. thing. And to have you guys here with us now and to be mm -hmm. reading these comments and the feedback, like Misfit NG loves the t-shirts. So comforting. Oh, it's and awesome. So comfortable yeah. and flattering. Um, Ikonia Behovic. Ascension is an amazing program as well as Retreat. They're my favorites. Oh, great. Um, it's really interesting. Like, mm -hmm. you know, Finn Boho programs are price, price, priceless, legendary, and beautiful. Finn, who was just on our live stream before. Oh, and Boho Beautiful Official. Super, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, Finn, super engaging because, like, all, y all of your comments on the last stream were great and, like, yeah. actually led to a really beautiful discussion about a lot of things. So grateful mm -hmm. you're here again. Um, yeah, so it's really interesting to, mm, I don't know, I love reading the comments. I always Let's read more comments because okay. you, I can't see your guys' comments because Mark's got the laptop here, so I'm going to rely on him to... Zara Kikosoy, Kurak Are you butchering people's yeah. names? 
Zara, <laughs> grateful for the opportunity to live, breathe, see, walk, and be healthy, to have a family, dream, and realize that I have the ability to reach my goals. Wow, that's so beautifully said. That's so well done. Wow. That's so well mm -hmm. done. Also grateful to discover Boa Beautiful, which changed my life for the better. Wow. Lots of love. Thank you. Lots of love to you, Zara. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that's so beautiful. Antonia Schwartz, gratitude always makes me so sad because I'm so afraid of losing the things I am so deeply grateful for. Do you have oh. any tips? We're going to lose everything. Yeah. I think the I think impermanence, the impermanence, Juliana has the tattoo and I also have a tattoo, both of I them symbolize. I have a tattoo right here actually in Sanskrit, which is atya in Sanskrit, which means impermanence. So mm -hmm. the tip I would say is be grateful for this moment you have to be grateful mm -hmm. for what you have because you will not have it forever. Yeah, I think. And so yeah. seize that moment of gratitude now and revel in it and cherish it and hold it in your heart and love it because you won't always have that that you are grateful for today, but you have today now. But I think it's also the idea of energy and what you put out into the universe, right? There's the difference between fear and between gratitude. So if you're living in a state of fear, afraid that you're going to lose the things that you have, that's the frequency that you're putting out into the universe is fear, lack, scarcity, right? So if you, you start to shift and just look at it from the idea of gratitude, don't even think about it if it will be here or not because right now you have it and that's amazing and so if you really d dive deep and like embrace this energy of what gratitude gives you that's the frequency that you're putting out into the universe and then the universe responds based on what you it receives from you it doesn't like think about what to give you it's just like oh i'm feeling gratitude positivity high vibration because that's what gratitude is it returns more things for you to be grateful for it's so powerful it's like the use of affirmations right like why do we do affirmations because you're literally putting that frequency through your words into the universe and then it gives more to you and there's also a tool that people have uh, talked about and i've used it myself in my personal life is the work with affirmations, using affirmations in a positive way in terms of even if let's say you don't have something and there's a goal or something you want to achieve, but you're saying it as if you're grateful for it already, as if it already happened and you affirm it and you feel it and you feel it in your gut, you feel it in your soul, in your heart the universe responds to it. it's like oh it's already there and then that what you want will actually manifest to become a reality in your life it's so powerful like that i like your thoughts your words your intentions oh. are so powerful in creating the life that you want to live change your thoughts mm -hmm. that change your life that was um wayne dyer yeah but you change your intentions you change your actions and it'll change that much faster mm -hmm. and you change what you're grateful for be grateful and your entire existence, the rest of your life, is in the palm of your hands. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It is. Like, literally, but it starts to change your thoughts, change your life. Dr. Wayne Dyer. I think Dr. Wayne Dyer nurse says something, another beautiful quote, what was it? I hope I get it right, because I'm just pulling it out of my, my brain, but it was, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, no, you nailed yeah. that. That's amazing. Yeah. Jordan versus, Jordan's in the house. Jordan. Jordan's here. Like from, our Jordan. From Team Boho. Oh, my gosh. It's happening. Jordan versus Luz. Hi. Hey, hi, Jordan, everybody. <laughs> our legendary Jordan, the the man that you will speak to if you ever reach out to contact at bohobeautiful.life. He's our incredible uh, partner in all of this. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the team. He's one of the pivotal pieces yeah. of, of Boho Beautiful that we're deeply, deeply grateful, grateful for. for. Exactly. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Uh, Make It Happen is a great book about manifest mm. manifestation. Um, mm -hmm. Like the book Magic by Rhonda. Did you read it? I didn't read it, Arena. No. no. Um, what about bad moments? Tammy What about Tammy bad moments? Sotis says, I try to have always positive vibrations, but sometimes life is so hard. Of course. Of I course. mean, that's the duality of life. We can't always have good moments because, I mean, it's it's the... It's the yin and yang of everything, right? And I think when those bad moments happen, you have to always realize that this too shall pass as well. Nothing is mm -hmm. permanent, just like the good and just as the bad, you know, it well, all ebbs and flows in life. And there has to be the mm -hmm. bad so that the good can exist. And I think yeah. 
as hard as it can be in those bad moments, sometimes it's a really beautiful thing to like understand the duality that both need to exist in all of our lives in order for them all to be there because it cannot have light without dark. Like you cannot. Mm -hmm. So when you're thinking in a, in a bad place, when you, something negative happens or there's a bad thing, it's much easier with smaller things. But sometimes it actually can help if you step outside of the emotion of it, kind of going to get a little bit Eckhart Tolle on this, step outside the thought about it and have a thought about that thought. And maybe if you analyze the thought of, oh, this is so bad, you can come to a place where you're looking at that thought and you say, you know, but with this bad, one day will be good. And I have to understand the duality and maybe mm -hmm. the feeling of sadness that I'm going through or the feeling of anger or frustration, maybe that's beautiful because it is empowering to understand that it always has to be there. It's never going to exist forever. So when it is there, if we can appreciate it, because its existence empowers the other side to exist as well, maybe we can be one step closer to turning the coin over and coming back to that which serves us so well, which we think is the only thing we want in our life all the time, which is positivity and love mm -hmm. and light and all of the, the beautiful experiences of life. But you can't have that without the ugly. So maybe mm -hmm. the understanding that the ugly is always going to exist and when it appears in your life, you can appreciate it a little bit because you know its existence allows everything you love and everything about life that's so fucking beautiful to exist too. And always remembering that the dots will always connect looking backwards, right? So even in those like really difficult moments when you're, you feel like, wow, life is so unfair, you know, you have to go through the turbulence and you will get through it. And then one day you will look back in those difficult moments, those obstacles you face, and you're going to be like, oh, that's why it was there. Because I needed that to push me to get to here. Or I needed, needed that to realize that the path I am on is not the right path for me. Like, there's so many ways that the universe brings us these circumstances and experiences. Because I, I truly, in my heart, don't believe that nothing is given to us without a, a deeper purpose and a deeper reason. Mm -hmm. And sometimes maybe it's just to help you realize your pure strength, well, you know, how strong you really are, well, even when things get so difficult, you can get through them. Because nothing, not there, no growth can ever be accomplished without going through something like yeah. th having to push through it. Mm -hmm. And so anything that is negative that we have to push our way through, you will come out at the other end a different person mm -hmm. because of it. So there's a gift you receive through every trial and tribulation in life that you have to pass through. That is, you will ascend to the next level of who you're supposed to be. So when you see those hurdles and when you see those difficulties and when you see those tragedies or whatever it might be that we all have to go through, because mm -hmm. there's no one that will escape from between birth and death. No one mm -hmm. will escape the suffering that we will all have to go yeah. through. So when that appears, the question then becomes, how are you going to handle it? How are you gonna how are you gonna face it when it arrives? And to spend your time preparing for that so when it does come and it does arrive, that you can face it with as much grace and as much I think as much grace as possible because mm -hmm. it's very difficult to be graceful, but if you can, the more graceful it is and the more you understand the transformation that you will go through when you appear on the other end is a beautiful thing too. Yeah. And that transformation, it's important for all of us. It's like throw yourself into difficulty sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like we was having a talk with Adrian who's on our team the other day and he's like, sometimes I think I need more difficulty in my life. We talked about it and he was like, because I think when it's difficult is when I get challenged and when I become greater and stronger and better than I am. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's really interesting. And so maybe self-imposed difficulty. I fast. I fast every morning, I intermittent fast, and it's not easy sometimes. Mm -hmm. But through it, I know that I'm a better person. Through it, I know my physiologically more sound, more complete. You know, I do two day fast sometimes. I do full moon and new moon fast. And when I do that, oh my God, it's not simple. So I'm challenging myself. I'm giving resistance in my life because I know at the other side of that, it's going to make me a stronger person. And I am, and I am for it. I believe that it's, it's, it's fascinating. So don't be afraid of the negative. I think that's what this is, what we're saying here is like embrace it. Yeah, don't be afraid to just open your heart and let life br bring whatever it needs to bring your way because you'll get through it and you'll become the person you're meant to become through those challenges as well. So always remembering that even in those really dark moments is important. I love that. Let's do another question because I feel like there's a oh, lot I of know, comments right? coming. No, there's a lot of beautiful comments, guys. Keep it coming. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Um, well, this one's... Where do you buy your rings? <laughs> um, Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm actually, I've been wearing these three forever. 
Yeah. It, this is our wedding ring. That you got in Peru. In Peru. Mm -hmm. And it has the um, the three animals, the three spiritual creatures of Peru. This I got on my birthday in Tibet mm -hmm. from a little shop in Lhasa, the holy city. And we found this beautiful artisan and she was making rings and it just spoke to me and fit perfectly. And this one I got in Cambodia so many years ago at the beginning of this whole bowl of beautiful journey yeah. when we were in Cambodia and there's all these little elephants on it. Yeah. You know? I yeah. can't even tell you where some of my rings are because I don't remember. <laughs> because <laughs> I just, like Mark, I just get them as we travel, if something connects to me. And that's kind of how I find that we pick jewelry and things. It's like something speaks to you and you're like, wow, this is really, there's something about it. Then I, I buy it. And then I just wear it all the time. Like I, I, rings have just become part of my being. Like I sleep in most of my rings. It's like, it's weird, but I'm just like, it's just part of me. I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. That's a weird way to say I enjoy my rings, but <laughs> jewelry, you feel like it's part of you. Pitta wants to know if we're buy planning to have any more kids. We'll see what the universe has in store for us. <laughs> um, Coco says anything in life has two faces, one the bad, the other the sad. It's the sad to be grateful for the good side. Mm. You have to taste the bad. I think that's the uh, sort of, it's a little broken, but I think the idea is sort of what we're saying here. Yeah. So you have to have the bad with the good. Yeah. And you have to have the good, you have to have taste the good at times so you understand how great the, the great tastes. I don't know. Does that make sense or did I just mess that whole thing yeah, up? Yeah, a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Uh, Dark Star says, I bet you feel stronger when you start eating and that's for sure. <laughs> when you start eating? <laughs> yeah, after fasting, ah, after I guess. Because I'm talking about fasting. Mm. Um, oh, here's an interesting one. Where'd it go? Janelle Eyre, Eyre, Janelle Eyre. Well, being such a huge influence on a lot of social platforms, how do you keep your mind in such a high spiritual plane to block out negativity and keep your mind in the present of real life? I mean, that's... <clears throat> I think for me personally, um, I don't engage in comments um, as We're much... Engaging in all the comments. In all, in all the comments, I... No, but right now we're engaging in all the comments. Well, right now, <laughs> but I'm talking about in general, like as, if we're talking about social media and posts and videos, um, to me, I just focus on sharing as much as I can. But um, before I used to read a lot and I, I realized that I'm, I'm a very sensitive person in that way. And because when what you share comes from such a deep place in your heart and the Internet is full of very opinionated and different folks everywhere and everyone you know wants to share what they believe is right or whatever and people share a lot on the internet there have been moments when you know negativity comes your way and it, like and i've noticed that it, it begins to affect me in a deeper way and i don't like the negativity that it brings my way that i just i've consciously chosen to disengage from the comments even though i want people to know that we appreciate all of the love and and we do you know like anytime you guys email us beautiful things and you email contact jordan forwards us all of these amazing emails and we read them and we're so grateful for them or even like sometimes you know constructive uh, emails if someone wants something or they request something or like we appreciate all of that feedback so not to say that i don't look at feedback or or your responses but i think in terms of when it comes to social media um, I, I tend to remove myself. Even with, you know, we started personal, uh, for example, personal Instagram accounts, and that's been really fun, but I have a hard time even going to like the DM section of that, and it's overflowing with so many wonderful messages, mm -hmm. but because our time is so limited, and we have so much going on in our life, you know, from just shooting, but also we're parents, and we have a child, and it's like when I'm not working, when I'm not creating or working on something extremely meaningful for the community in terms of creative process, I, I turn off and I go be a mom with my son because he needs me and because that is a priority in my life now. Whereas even, you know, three years ago, the business was everything to me. But now, you know, becoming a mother, everything shifts. So for me, in terms of my <laughs> mental health, I guess, is just I'm more focused on the output and we have a wonderful team that receives a lot on our behalf. Mm -hmm. um, and I found that helps me keep my, uh, I guess, mental health a little bit more positive. And I think um, we're going to really take to the 2023 this year coming up and try to simplify as well. And I think mm -hmm. simplification is an excellent strategy for figuring out how to, um, how to make life 
um, less of a lift mm -hmm. so that we can do the good work inside of ourselves so that when we shine, we can shine even brighter. And I think that's really important in a lot of ways to think about that mm -hmm. and for us to remember that come January because we're pretty burnt out at this point. Um, and I think because of that, it's just it's just important, you know. It's important to um, to remind ourselves that everything is simpler than we think. We're already where we should be. We're already humans on this earth. We're already like able to go watch the sunset. We put food on our tables. You know, we're already able to spend time with our boy, to be with each other, to go for a walk in nature. Like mm -hmm. the simplest things in life is all that really matters. And we get so caught up all the time in all the noise mm -hmm. and thinking that the pursuit of all this stuff that people think you need to acquire in overabundance in order to be happy um, is so important. But for us, literally, it just comes down to the simplicity of like, no, no, we all have everything we need us all the time. Mm -hmm. And coming back to that idea whenever we get caught up in the game, because all of this, all of this, these cameras, this thing, this internet, this YouTube, it's all just a game. Because we already all have anything we need. So we're engaging in this game at a choice. And it's nice to be able to call it a game. like, Because then you can laugh about it. And you don't have to take it so seriously. And then the negative comments don't matter that much. Mm -hmm. And then all the things that seem so important, they actually, like, you can disassemble them at any point in time and recognize none of it's actually important. Because in a week, like, my doctor could tell me I'm going to die in a few months. And then what does it all matter anyways? Yeah. Because we're all, like, the impermanence we were talking about earlier, it's all going to fade away. We're all going to turn to the dust that we all came from. We all return back to the earth. Just yeah. how we came out of the earth, we come back to the earth. And so with that in mind, then it, you can you can really take away a lot of the seriousness and remember mm -hmm. to come back to simplicity. And it's funny when you talk about the seriousness, I think about Alan Watts. If you, I don't know if you guys have ever um, had the opportunity to listen to some of his um, compilations. Like uh, if you just go on YouTube and put Alan Watts, there's so many different talks of his, but he is such a beautiful <laughs> philosopher that unfortunately is no, no longer here with us on earth. But he always had such a humorous way of of spinning everything in life you know what i mean like just listen to him if you ever feel like life is getting too serious listen to alan watts because he will just make you feel like life is just this beautiful funny experience of joy that's where we get the idea that it's a game yeah Straight it's a game him. it's a complete it's game, a game and it's it's just like you gotta laugh about it and have fun you know mm -hmm. so Maria asked, us, she's been off the internet for some time and asked about the update of the wall of honor for the dogs. Oh, in honor of the campaign. In honor of, in it's fully Zabatas. completed. And the plaque is up. And we, um, we sent an email, actually, to all the donors. Oh we'll get gosh. the backstory, I guess. So we, uh, we did a campaign inside the Bow Beautiful community, for those of you that were aware of it, mm -hmm. um, and for anyone that wanted to join in, it was to donate a certain amount of money to a dog sanctuary in Costa Rica called, called Territorio de Zaguates which has 2,000 mm -hmm. free range dogs on the side of a mountain and it's a no kill shelter and a beautiful woman named Leah Battle who we love dearly with all of our hearts is always in need of help and at that point she really needed a medical clinic on site mm -hmm. so when Prince our dog died we decided we would start a fundraiser in his honor and allow anyone who donated over a certain amount of money to donate in an honor of a lost pet in their life. Mm -hmm. And then we'd put all the names on a plaque mm -hmm. and erect it at once, the sanctuary. Once the clinic was next built. To the, ne yeah. Next to the medical clinic. And so we ended up raising in about two weeks over $60,000 with our entire community, which was amazing. And it gave all the funding for Leah and her team to be able to build a medical clinic on site, which now is used to spay and neuter all the animals that come in. They get their vaccinations there. They don't need to you know, bring them down to town to the vets. And also they're allowing um, this clinic to help the nearby communities in the area that cannot afford to spay or neuter their animals, an opportunity to have that done for free to help control the, the, the stray population as well in Costa Rica. So it's such a beautiful initiative that our whole community mm -hmm. came together and completed. And due to that, like Mark said, we had this incredible plaque built with all of your, all the people that donated um, their pets' names are on that plaque. And it's there now, erected <coughs> in front of the clinic. And if you want, we, we, mm -hmm. um, we did a podcast on Stars and Destruct. So mm -hmm. if you go to the Stars and Destruct YouTube channel, which if you're not aware of, um, is our new podcast, mm -hmm. which we're five episodes in, and the most recent one 
It's here on YouTube, but it's also on Spotify with Leah. And we shot it inside the glass clinic yes. that we built. So yeah. that episode in, in its entirety is shot inside the clinic, along with all the other episodes that are on there. But um, yeah, we'd love your support over at the podcast. And she'd, if you watch the episode, love your support in any way whatsoever yeah. that you could help. Because she's always in need. I mean, she, always in need. She's yeah. always in need. And there's these people like Leah out there that nobody ever asked them to do anything. But they dedicated their entire life mm -hmm. to taking care and being the stewards of others. And she picks up the dogs that everyone in her country leaves at the side of the road and she brings them to her property or worse and she yeah. uh, or worse and yeah. she gives them a second chance at a happy life and actually you guys when we're going back to costa rica we're going to be making a little stop there and possibly taking a little fur child <laughs> i want to call it into our own hearts i think yeah. we're ready to ha to open our hearts to a, a dog and we actually fell in love with a couple of them when we were there shooting the podcast and so now we're like okay when we're coming back from mexico maybe it's time so mm -hmm. we're actually going to be expanding our family with a couple of furry tails yeah <laughs> so go also yeah. check out stars and Struck. subscribe if you haven't we'd mm -hmm. love the support yeah. over there we actually because of this entire burnout th i guess it's a burnout or exhaustion <laughs> or like that we're talking about through this podcast and coming back to gratitude um we took three weeks off because mm -hmm. we wanted to simplify we realized that you know coming back to source and refilling our tanks mm -hmm. and there's a big shift inside the team for posters instruct and then we realized you know what like we need to just realign and come back again so we're putting our next new episode up on tuesday it's with Shunyar Murthy from, Sat, Murthy. With, from mm -hmm. Sat Yoga Institute. Mm -hmm. So if you type in Sat Yoga or Shunyar Murthy um, on, on YouTube, you can check out his channel. He's like a guru that lives in an ashram in Costa um, Rica. In the mountains of, the coast of Costa Rica. And it was a crazy, amazing, beautiful, brilliant, and inspiring conversation. Yeah, he's a brilliant mind. And he has a, such a unique way of seeing so much that's happening around the world. Check out his youtube and see maybe there's something that you can take from his teachings and you know you can all swan teal swan we which, sat down hopefully. with teal swan able to get the energy of people and she is a beautiful person and she's got so much wisdom to share as well with the so we're very grateful for it okay we're frozen mm. we're frozen again yeah everyone's saying we're frozen damn it <laughs> <laughs> oh the internet of the jungle mm -hmm. ay, everybody's ay, ay. saying it mm? um but maybe we're back. I think it's in and it's out. Mm. It's in and it's out. No, maybe we're it's back, a sign. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's I a sign. I think it's been a wonderful, what, 45 minutes now of us having this conversation with you guys. And really the, the intention of this live stream today was just to come and say hi and to say that we are here and give you a little bit of an update of everything that's going on. Um, you know, we got new videos coming for you this, uh, this month as well. So as you know, stay tuned on our YouTube channel here check out the podcast as we say because there's tons of new stuff coming out there mm -hmm. um check out the sale right now that's going on like we mentioned if you want to get a premium program experience that or even get it now and then experience it in january you know start your year with a program you haven't tried yet mm -hmm. keep and your eyes uh, out for what we are going to release on official yeah on january um, 1st that's another exciting part yeah and, and come and check out stars and destruct over at the other channel yeah uh lots there's lot i mean there's no wonder we're so exhausted. <laughs> Lots is happening in our life. Oh but my God. Anyways, but outside of that, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for your love, for your energy, for your support, for enjoying what we provide you, all the content, for get, taking some value from it. We started this channel mm -hmm. like six years ago, seven Has it been years six ago. Years I don't know. Now? I don't yeah. even know because it's been such a journey. But to think how far it's allowed our life to travel and how many yeah. beautiful experiences, how many people we've connected with and how many, how much purpose you mm -hmm. guys have given our work. Mm -hmm. um, that's what ultimately I think today I'm most grateful for. Yeah, me too. And, uh, so thank you. Thank you Honestly, guys. guys. Yeah, thank you for everything. And may you have a beautiful last month of the year. I know yeah. we're coming into December now. Remember to, to come back to that idea of gratitude, especially when things can become difficult in your life, whatever you may be going through, always remember, just take that breath, come back to your heart and like look around what is around you and find gratitude because it'll always help you come back to the root of yourself and this beautiful life that you live. So remember that and have a beautiful rest of the month. 
And we hope to see you in, in January as well with our new program. <coughs> we'll put all the links of all of the things that we talked about. And someone was asking, including Alan Watts, including yes. the sale, including yeah. everything in the description. And we're going to head over to Instagram right now. Yeah, in a little bit. And if you guys uh, follow us on Instagram or, or you don't, check it out, Boho Beautiful Life. And we're just going to do a fun hangout and a do a live. We don't do it often. No, so. but I think we're going to let people come and join our conversations on Instagram. Yeah, there's like a way you can accept people. So in. we're going to just like hang out with different Have people and mm -hmm. just like for two minutes each <laughs> and just see what kind of like conversations happen from there. Yeah. Anyway, so if you want to check it out, go on Instagram and we'll be there live shortly. And other than that, all our love to you mm -hmm. from beautiful Palmaya in Mexico. Links to Palmaya below. Come check it out if you yeah. if you have the budget. Uh, it's it's yeah. not cheap, but it is worth it. And if you're looking for a really beautiful time off or vacation that involves a, a deep reconnection to yourself, to the earth, and and just having a really wonderful, comfortable time, then check it out. Yeah. I think you will absolutely love this place. Yeah. It, is, it is a piece of heaven on earth. And so. a few people are asking on Instagram now, and yes, it will be probably in five minutes. Five, ten minutes. Maybe we'll get a coffee. We'll refill a little cup of tea here. And, and we'll then, see you there. Yeah. All right, guys. All our love to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.